All right, Matt, thanks for coming. Thanks for First annual uh, media day. We're uh, excited to talk to you about the girls cross country program. Uh, why don't you lead into who you have up here and, and your uh, season goals. Okay, so to my right is McKenna Zitkis, a four-year senior, and to my left is Kai Ludwig, also a four-year senior. Maybe they would be good representatives for us today. I haven't been part of the program for so long. McKenna's actually been coming to our camp since one seventh grade, yeah, so she's been, been part of our program for quite some time. Uh, we're looking forward to a great season. We have a really excellent core of, of seniors on varsity. We've got 12 seniors total. Uh, so we're looking to improve on some of last year's finishes. I know the, the divisions are merged now. Uh, last year we took third in the SWSC Red, uh, and this year we're hoping for a top five finish. Th third out of fifth, this year we're hoping for top five out of nine. Uh, and to improve, we got sixth at regionals last year, hoping to improve on that and get to the top five at regionals. And we qualified for sectionals last year, finished 18th. We'd like to improve on that finish as well. Awesome. Which returning players, or do we? Runners. Runners. <laughs> I was saying, I feel like, I feel like we've got to use something different. Um, do you expect to take on leadership roles? I, I see you've got these two ladies. Um, are there other, you said you have 12 seniors, have, so. Yeah, we've, we've got a great group of seniors. I think all of them have leadership potential. So they had to pick two to be up here with me today. <laughs> in addition to McKenna and Kylie, uh, it's nice to have Chloe Miller back. She missed all of last year with a torn hip labrum, had to have it surgically repaired. Uh, in addition to that, other people who our returning varsity athletes on the team who are seniors, uh, Emma Hagley, uh, Mia Klosowski, Sophia, and I sometimes still struggle, <laughs> My, Michael Lazak. Okay, Sophia and Michael Lazak are all people who are returning from our varsity squad last year. And what areas of improvement from last season are you focused on for this season? Uh, I think we did a great job over the summer building base mileage. Okay, uh, the, the seniors kind of led the way in that in terms of attendance at our summer camps, uh, making sure that they're getting at least three to four miles in every day over the summer, every day that we were at camp. And I think that, that building that foundation uh, will really pay off, like at least so far, knock on wood, we're pretty healthy. <laughs> we haven't had any early season injuries. And so you know, what we're doing is building that foundation first and then starting to add a little higher intensity workouts, 400 meter repeats, where some of the girls who are more track oriented seem to enjoy those. Yeah, uh, and temple runs and hill workouts and things like that that are coming the weeks ahead to you know, take advantage of the foundation we've built and get us ready for some of the high level meets we'll be competing at throughout the season. Kylie, what's your least favorite workout? You enjoy hills. <laughs> you talked about running hills. Is that where do you guys usually do that at? Del, Delwood Park. Yeah, Delwood Park and Lockport. It's Lockport's old cross country course. Uh, they, they've since really. They, I think the boys do run a meet there in October, but uh, they've <laughs> they've kind of retired it because of its difficulty. Okay. Because there are hills, so we will sometimes. But what's the most I've ever had us do? 10, 12, and there's a little snake hill, it's about 200 meters long, okay. and we'll run up it, and then Kylie, how do we recover? We kind of like jog down. And then what do we do? Run up again. Run up again. <laughs> okay. So they, things like that. Uh, you know, it, it's designed so that when we're on a course where you only have to run up a hill once, hey, I don't have to do this nine more times. This is a piece of cake, <laughs> hopefully. So that is, what would be your favorite one then? Because I know you like them all, but maybe there's one that's a favorite. Like workout? Yeah. I enjoy like the relay workouts we do. Okay. Yes. Carly, did you watch the Olympics by chance? Yeah. Did you watch it with any teammates, a coach, anybody? Uh, just my family. Just your family? Did you see any uh, men or women that you enjoyed watching specifically, or races you wa you liked watching? Um, I like to watch Jessica Hole from Australia. Uh, was it inspiring in any way? I mean, did it after, like the day or a couple days after? Did you run with a different mentality? Did you? Um, it kind of like showed me like not to like give up. Thanks. So, off of that, who are your athletic inspirations, mentors, 
or runners? Just... Um, I really look up to my coaches. They inspire me a lot. And like all my teammates, they really push me. Cool. It's nice. How about you, McKenna? Same question. Um, yeah, my coaches, teammates, past teammates. McKenna, what got you into cross country? Um, when I was in like seventh grade, I had a friend who was running, so I just do like five Ks with her and like go on runs with her around town. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Uh, Kylie, do you have um, do you have any other sports you like to do? Not necessarily for the high school, but uh, recreationally, any activities? Did you swim this summer? Anything else to enjoy? Right. <laughs> McKenna, what are you excited about or what goals do you have for this season? Um, I'd like to get closer to my PR and like for all the different meets and trips that we take as a team. What's your favorite trip that you take? Probably like the Peoria trip. Where Peoria we stay trip? Overnight. So what, what do you like about it? Um, we just like a lot of team time but also get to run. So yeah, it's fun. Nice. Um, what's your favorite restaurant that you guys go to down in Peoria? <laughs> Do you have any traditions when you go down there, Coach? Well, the uh, it, it's often very hard with a team of usually between 25 and 30 to get everybody in <laughs> to the same restaurant. Okay, so But there's a nice restaurant plaza area of East Peoria where we usually stay. And uh, there's a Noodles and Company. And I know some of the girls like Panera. Where did you go last year? and company yeah. no, okay. and, and then one of the highlights of that trip is always the the tour of Target in East Peoria <laughs> uh, where and that was one of the kind of the number one request when I asked the girls for feedback on the trip last year many of them including some of the seniors like, like Savannah and others sitting over there more Target time okay <laughs> more time to hang out at, at the, the, the greatest store on earth I guess <laughs> wow you would think that we're uh advertising for Target, but I'm not going to lie. I was an employee there. We'll send it in. We'll send it in. Yeah, it seems like um, that's the store to go hang out yeah. if you're a teenager. <laughs> but uh, awesome. Uh, talk to us a, a little bit about some of your traditions, McKenna, um, that you do as a team and maybe what you do personally for for you to get ready for a, a meet. Um, like traditions, we do pasta parties on like Friday nights, usually like the day before meets, where like we take turns like hosting. Like, just get to, again, spend time together and, like, just get ready for the next day. Very nice. You rotate those from different families or whatever? So you, you said four big meets? Um, just, like, for any meets we do. Okay. Yeah. Um, McKenna, what is a memorable moment or meet or just, if you think, the first thing off the top of your head, what was something really exciting over all the years you've been doing this, like something that you just... Um, freshman year when we made it to state, that was, yeah, that was pretty memorable. Very nice. Where do they go state? They go state in Peoria. One of the reasons we go down for that Peoria trip halfway through the season is to get prepared because they, they, Peoria has a series of meets that are on the state course, and so it's kind of a, a pre-state meet. So the exact speak. same course? Yep, Detweiler Park. So it kind of like demystifies the whole aura of the state? Yes, yes. So if, if, if we're lucky enough to make it, then we know what we're getting into. Yeah. That's really nice. All right. Um, Matt, what what are your goals for this team this year? What do you, what do you hope to see them, uh, these young ladies do today? The, uh, the name of the game for everybody is, is improvement, okay? And it doesn't, as I, I tell them, it doesn't matter whether you're starting out at 10 minute pace, so 30 minutes for three miles, or you know, nine minute pace, eight minute pace for three miles, you know, you can get better. I think Coach Van Swole put it well earlier, you know, you put the work in, you improve. Okay? So emphasizing what McKenna mentioned, PRs, okay? And a PR could be anything. It could be 19 minutes for three miles, it could be 28 minutes for three miles, but shooting for those, for those goals throughout the year uh, on an individual basis. Obviously, as, as a team, we want to be competitive at invites, uh, whether it's you know the, the larger ones that Peoria and me were just mentioning, I think has 65 teams at it, okay? But a lot of the other meets, 
that only have you know 15, 16 teams. Hopefully, hopefully, you know, getting some team trophies of those and being competitive. Uh, and, you know, put as I said, putting the work in. And one of the quotes we've been going to this past week is the theme of the Special Olympics. You know, let me win. But if I cannot win, at least let me be brave in the attempt. Okay. And so the idea is, yeah, there's only going to be one team that comes out on top of an invitational. There's only going to be one individual champion. But if we can run our hearts out and you know, push ourselves to our limits, then we have everything to be proud of. Awesome. So one last question. Yesterday, you guys ran the four by four, right? Co-ed, were any of you the winners? Your team was. Congratulations. Um, how did you feel running that? Did you think it was going to be um, as difficult as it was? Was it easy? I was nervous at first, but once I started running, it was fun. I enjoyed it. The crowd helped get you into it? Yeah. yeah there had to be. We don't often have big crowds like that at, at track meets, so I mean, did it feel good to have that final stretch, the crowd getting up and cheering? Yeah. Yeah, that was, it was impressive to watch. It was a close race. Good job, ladies. Thanks for coming out. Um, at this point in time, we're going to uh, take our, our senior photos. Thanks. <laughs>